I was just in Ecuador and um, you know how in America, in the United States, sorry, the United States, we have uh, ice cream trucks, right? And you can hear them down the street. Well, they, their garbage trucks sing. <laughs> <laughs> so the garbage truck sings as it's going down the road. So um, let's take that opportunity. <laughs> let's take the spiritual singing garbage truck, um, you know, very seriously. This is your chance, right? This is your chance to get rid of all the stuff, the, the heaviest stuff, all the, all the resentment and all the judgment and the attachments and all the expectations and the resistance. We forget about the resistance. Uh, that's baggage too. And a lot of times resistance comes up um, because of old memories or trauma. Um, I'll give you a good example. Um, recently, I had a friend do a special prayer on me and I found myself resisting it. And so I'm always very conscious. And I think this is a good way to, to be mentally. I'm in a witness state. And so when I have a reaction to something, it's a treasure. So I said, oh my goodness, where is this resistance coming from? Uh, this is interesting. So I dug into it and I said, you know, welcome resistance. What are you made of? And I saw all these memories of when I was younger, when I didn't have a choice about who got to pray over me, right? And so I thought, oh, it's that. I just need to welcome the trauma and the memory of that um, discomfort and welcome it, allow it to dissolve in my field, not denying it, but welcoming it fully and then walking through it. And then the resistance was able to shift and I was able to receive this great blessing from my friend. And so I think it's really key to attend to those things. A lot of times resistance is because of some kind of trauma that's happened. Mm hmm Yep, past life trauma is a very real thing. And in fact, it manifests often in the physical form. So, um, for example, the other day I was doing a session with a beautiful man in um, the Philippines, in Manila. And he said um, he had problems with his heart. And it was very obvious that there wasn't any clear genetic reason. It was a spiritual reason. And some near past life, he had had a heart injury where someone had stabbed him to death. Um, even my own husband, um, we, we joke around that all the different freckles on his back are where different injuries had happened in different lifetimes. And I really believe that. <laughs> yeah, or the birth mark, really sensitive right? spots yeah exactly so you know even in my own um embodiment there's signs and signals to me that i have this incredibly powerful soul history that comes through so all of us have that so a repulsion to a place you know i would have never wanted to go to egypt really necessarily um it's interesting uh, from an anthropological point of view, but I was tasked to go there and go to 10 specific places on the earth to go gather some specific information. And I can't say no to that. And so with this task, I really was like, how am I going to plan a crazy trip like this? Because we're going all the way up the Nile and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I thought, well, Source, I'm, I'm open, I'm willing. That level of willingness is really key. As we're walking into this gigantic fifth dimensional gateway that's happening, it's starting on the 19th and it fully opens on the 21st and will continue to be open for three days after that. And so it's a very huge, long, powerful gateway. The alignment of the stars on the 19th are the exact alignment that happened when Jesus and Beethoven were born. So very important day. And these alignments, this sort of understanding around astrocartography, how the star alignments have an effect on the earth, not just astrology, but beyond that even, 
the fact that the galactic structure around us has an intimate relationship with where the earth is going is really important. And as we walk through that 5D gateway, the possibilities um, will open up as long as the willingness is there. So that willingness is something I've been practicing. And with that willingness, an opportunity arose on its own for this entire Egypt trip to happen. The dates were already planned. The people and the places and the exact things that we needed to fall into place are already happening. I haven't had to lift a finger. It's because of that willingness um, for all of those possibilities, because that's what 5D is all about. It's possibilities, fractaling off and um, showering incredible grace upon people who are open to it. So we've had this divine masculine Christ consciousness mercy envelop us this whole year. We've had a year of mercy and it's allowed us to shift a lot of armor out of the way shift a lot of um, things that keep us from receiving, right? So everything from resentment, I always remind people, forgiveness is key here. If you can do some forgiving, you open up an incredible amount of energy in your field. And then you can receive a lot of power and light. Power and light are the same thing, really. But you can receive more. And I mean this in a very literal sense. People will email me and say, why do I have financial blocks? Why can't I find my twin flame? And I'll, I'll always point them back to forgiveness. Forgiveness is a tool. It's a flaming sword. It burns bridges. It burns cords. It burns chains. And when we don't forgive, we literally drag all that stuff with us. And so when we cut that, that's a good place to start. You cut those using forgiveness and suddenly, blam, you have all this open space in your field to receive incredible grace. And that's part of the willingness. Am I willing to fully release any charge on all trauma that I've been through in this lifetime and other lifetimes? Am I willing to forgive historical traumas that have happened to the whole human race i often remind people look in your dna is all the pain and suffering and bondage of our of our race and if you're willing to release that and forgive all the way to the edge of the universe that's going to make more room than you can possibly imagine in your field to receive so i think that's an important piece here especially today we're celebrating, but we're also letting go of anything else that's not serving us.